in the problem 81, we want to calculate um, the molar mass of the unknown protein that is dissolved um, in some water. And we want to do that by using the phenomenon called osmosis and through measuring the osmotic pressure. So first things first, let's write down the osmotic pressure equation, which will help us. So B here, pi here is the osmotic pressure, M is the molarity, R is the universal gas constant, and T is the temperature. So now um, what I'm going to do is rewrite this equation um, in order to include the molar mass that we are trying to calculate. So we know that the molarity, which is the big M here, can be defined as amount of solute divided uh, by the volume of uh, uh, solution. So we will just replace that. Amount of solute divided by V solution. And just going to put our gas constant and temperature, leave it in the equation. Um, we don't know the amount of the solute, but this whole equation can be rewritten using mass um, of our solute. Because we know that the amount of solute equals to the mass of uh, solute divided by molar mass, um, Again, we can replace it in this equation as follows. Mass of solute now divided by molar mass solute and times the V solution that we had there before. And we keep the RT inside. Okay, so now that we have this P equals to mass of solute divided by molar mass and volume times RT. We can rewrite the whole equation um, as follows in order to obtain the equation for the molar mass of our protein. So let's say the molar weight of protein is MW. It will equal to mass of our protein, mass, times universal gas constant, and temperature divided by the osmotic pressure, times the volume of solution. OK. and we actually do have all of these values. Um, so we can just put them into this equation. And I'm gonna type it in right here. So we have uh, mass in milligrams. So it was 27.55 milligrams. And because our units for the molecular mass or weight of the polymer need to be in grams per mole, I can already predict that I need to convert my milligrams into grams by saying 27.55 to the power of uh, times 10 to the power of uh, minus 3. This multiplied by our universal gas constant, uh, because we have the P given in TOR, um, it would make our life easier by using the universal gas constant for tor and liter, which you can find online or in a book. 62.364 liters uh, mole to the power of minus one. Kelvin to the power of minus one. And of course, tor. So I know the units will might get confusing here, but it's very important to pay attention here. 
Okay, so the this is our our universal gas constant. Next uh, value is the temperature, which is uh, which we have at twenty five degrees Celsius. So, but we have to convert that in Kelvin by adding the two hundred and seventy three point fifteen. So this results in a temperature of two hundred ninety eight point fifteen Kelvin. And we divide this whole thing by our osmotic pressure in Tor, which is at 3.22 Tor. Uh, and we divide it by the volume of our solution, which is given at 25 milliliters or 25 times 0, five, uh, times 10 to the power of minus 3. And this is liters. Okay, so now that's the time where we have to look at the units in order to make sure that our calculation is correct. Or actually, uh, there's one unit missing. So this is in grams. Um, now when we take a look at our units, we see that we have tor here up and down. We have liters here, liters here. We have Kelvin to the power of minus one, and we have Kelvin. So the remaining units are mole to the power of minus one and grams, which is a good sign for us because we want to get a molecular weight, which would be in grams per mole. So let me just shortly put it in my calculator. And actually what we get is 6.36 times 10 to the power of uh, 3 grams per mole. And this is quite a realistic uh, molecular weight for a big molecule such as proteins. So essentially what this problem teaches us is by measuring the osmotic pressure, knowing the um, temperature and the molarity of our um, solution, we can determine the theoretical molecular weight of a protein or any molecule for that matter.